something. Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You're stupid. That's enough. You put on quite a show. from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity I await whilst praying, for this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. of telling you. You... 
Now then. No matter how often you ask, I'll never tell. Sensei.
Dear son, you should still be resting. I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? Yes, but I must keep busy. Otherwise, I'll get depressed. I understand, but you needn't work too hard. Yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. I will get them, father. Dear Ryo, Those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die. In order to stand by their convictions, live for one's convictions, die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path. Follow it through. My father must have known that Lan Li was coming. Huh. What's this key for? A key? But to what? This may come in handy. Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusa. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why, what you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Fuxan. What? About those men? If you go after them, take me too. No way. Why not? I don't want to lose anyone close to me again. Hazuki Sensei took care of me since I was 15 years old. That's 10 years. He was like a father to me. I appreciate your intentions, but you have to understand. But real son. Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, 
You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. She's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but, hey, on that day... Did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm... Maybe Sakuragaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. Are you okay? Yeah, but be careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. Excuse me. Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Ma'am? 
Sam. I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. So, are you going to buy this little deal? I'll take this one. Yamagashi san. Oh, it's you, Leo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Um, hi, what can I get for you? I have a question for you. Do you remember the day when the snow changed to rain? Yeah, I remember. Did you happen to see a black car? A black car? Oh, hey, that reminds me. You know that girl over at Ida Florist, yeah? You mean Nozomi? Yup. She was spitting mad because some black car splashed mud on her. I don't know the details, though. I see. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Tom. Hey, Ryo! Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green, maybe velvet or silk like something Chinese that's Landy what happened they almost hit one of my customers so I gave them a piece of my mind but that man he gave me this glare I ain't never seen such a cold stare man do you remember anything else nope try asking Chinese people about Chinese do you know any Chinese Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure.
Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Bajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. You think you can bump into me and not even apologize? Yeah, jerk. Apologize to Enoki-san. Well, maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you. I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it. Your history. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Damn, you're pretty tough. Uh, uh, oh. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. You don't mess with me again. Got it? All right, all right. Uh. Hey, are you, are you okay? Can you get up? Uh. Uh. Tao-san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh. The Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Manpukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Yu-san. Hello. Welcome! How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. 
I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father is eighty years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Um, are you Diu Sun? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions: barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely. A member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity; they're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute, Nozomi? Do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Well, they sure don't come in here. I'd guess that they probably hang out in bars. Yeah, probably. Hey, sorry to bother you at work. It's no bother. But Rio, hmm? don't do anything crazy. I won't. See ya. Excuse me. Oh, hey Rio. I can't serve you alcohol, but、uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up, Saijo-san? Do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Hi, Rio. Akemi-san. Yeah. What? Are those people sailors? Who knows? 
Why don't you ask them yourself? But don't start anything. Got it? Okay. Got a minute? Hey! The kid's saying something! Are you guys sailors? Mmm, could be. Hey, kid! How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon! Okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Thanks, kid. Set him up. Get out of my way. Welcome. There you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off! You little punk! You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Luo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. Fuxan. Practicing the move name Pit Blow. Ah, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it?
Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. You're real, son. Can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That's great! Your moves are so smooth and powerful. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukusan. There, there. Good kitty. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adil. Adil, do you think the kitty going to get all better? I'm sure she's going to be fine. I think so, too. Have you named her yet? Not yet. Do do you have any ideas? Let me see. How about Mimi? Oh, I get it. Cause her ears are so cute. Uh-huh. Mimi. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah, you know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. Hmm. Hi. How's it going? What's wrong? I'm so thirsty. I want a drink, but I don't have any change. I'll buy you one. What do you want? You're really nice. Thanks. What kind of drink do you recommend? Hmm. Let's see. Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. 
Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again and try Tao San special. Yes, please give my regards to Tao San. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you. Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. Yamagashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Good. That's the way. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. Now, try it again. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and, if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Yes. Please. Good. Training always pays off. Let us continue. Well, if you're not happy with your form, why not practice a bit more? No, I think I've got it. I see. Well, I'm not getting any younger. I'm glad that I could teach you while I'm still able. You're still very young. Work hard, and you will surpass even your father. Yes, 
Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. <laughs> I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on, I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy, show us what you got! Do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've gotta believe me! Folksan. Yeah. I heard there's a tattoo parlor in Dobuita. Do you know of it? A tattoo parlor? I've seen a lot of guys with tattoos, but I don't know where they get them. Do you have any friends who might know? No, sorry. Wait, Akemi just might know something. Akemi? At Yokosuka Bar? Sure, all the regulars there are locals. I'll go by there tonight and ask. Don't worry about it. I'll stop by there next time I'm down there. Oh well, if you're sure. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adyo. Yo, I named the kitty. Her name is Mimi. It's cute, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's a real cute name. Mimi, are you cold? <laughs> hey, see you soon. You're still so tiny. Um... What is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. Who are you kidding? Kiss off, twit! Um... What you want? I'd like to ask you about your tattoo. You interested in tattoos? Yeah. This tattoo's our gang's symbol. Where'd you get it? At the best tattoo artist around. 
Where's that tattoo parlor? By the look of those arms, you look like you can hold your own in a fight. I'll tell you what you want to know, if you'll join our gang. No. I got nothing to say to you then. This guy's a total loser! Well, if it isn't Rio. Is there a tattoo parlor around here? So, they have those in Dobu E tattoo. Hmm. Akimi san. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Ask Teruhiko. He should know. All right. Do you have a minute, Saijo-san? Yeah, what is it? Do you know of a tattoo parlor around here? Yeah, there's one nearby. You getting a tattoo? No, I just have some business with a guy who goes there. What kind of business? About the location of that tattoo parlor? Okayama Heights. Okayama Heights? Run by a crazy guy called Takashiro. Can't tell by his appearance, but he's good. That's all right. Something tough, so no one'll mess with me. Yeah, <laughs> like that schoolboy. Shut up! He kicked your butt too. That schoolboy. Huh? <laughs> it's him. Uh, uh, oh, I'm no. out of here. Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. to know about the cartel. I don't know. Why do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me. Okay, let me go. I'll tell you. I'll arrange for you to meet some of them, okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at three. Wait at the arcade. I have your word? Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation, but you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet, but if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later.
Father, I promise to avenge you. Yosan! Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. No holding back, okay? That was a good one. That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? Whoa, whoa! Oh! It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. H have you found something? I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who, who killed Hazuki-sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you, please think it over. My mind is made up. I must go. <clears throat> Ryo-san. Ine-san. You overheard? Please don't pursue this, Ryo-san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki-sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Ryo-san. Please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki-sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should... keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because... I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Inesa. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, Ryo-san. Son, what were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it from the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! What's wrong? A man with sunglasses took my soccer ball. He said he'd give it back if I brought it to him. What? Where is he? At the construction site. You. I knew you couldn't resist, 
boy. What? Remember the tattoo parlor? Payback time. Here, catch. Go home. What? But... That's enough. Huh? Damn! Don't think you can get away with this. Are you okay? Cheshire, thank you. Shishi. Hey, are you Chinese? Yes, my name's Xiao Go. What's your name? Ryo. Ryo Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Shishi, she, Ryo san. Go away. Come on, let's play. Next time, okay? I'm kind of busy now. By the way, Go away. You're Chinese, aren't you? Yep. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? Her name is Sha Shoui. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? What shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called Roshia. You mean Roshia China Shop, right? It says Roshia in big letters next to the door. I'll go see her. Thanks. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave just like you. It was nothing really. <laughs> so what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay. Reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reversed left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yong Da. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu. Jiao Tao Long. Ti Ji Mu. What does it mean? Father's heaven, nine dragons, mother's earth, comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think 
This part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. Zero four six eight six one five six four. Zero four six eight six one five six four. Right. I've got it. Thank you very much. Nine dragons. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I changed my mind. What? You don't trust me? I'm sorry. So talk to me. Yeah. I'm looking for a warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? Yeah. Any idea where it is? Don't you have any clues? Just a letter and a phone number. Why don't you try getting the address from the letter and the phone number? Oh, yeah. Pretty helpful, aren't I? Um, I gotta go. Sixty-one. Got it! Sixty-one. It's an Amihama. Tom. Hi, Ryo! Can you tell me the way to Amihama? Sure! The harbor, right? Take a bus from the main street straight down there. I see. Thanks. Hello? Ryo. Nozomi, what's up? I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? Yeah. At Sakuragaoka Park? I'll be waiting. All right. Yo. Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having... Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but... I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... Can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi... It's about my feelings for you, but... If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to... Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon? I don't know when, but... I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I... I don't really know... How I feel. I understand. 
When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry, I called you out. Nozomi, don't forget to say goodbye. <clears throat> See you. That blackmail is way uncool. Thinks you stuff, eh? Eh, you Hazuki from Sukahai. <laughs> Hazuki? Yeah? So what? I ain't afraid of him. I could take this geek. Gah! Toro-san! <laughs> hey! Hey, you! Wait! Damn! Whoa, you've had it now! Ouch! Oh, oh, pretty tough after all. What, what? I have a question. Sure, what is it? Warehouse number eight? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Down the street, there's a new warehouse district. Turn right, and number eight should be there. So it's straight, and to the right. That's it. Well, uh, time for us to go. Hisakasa. We all. I need to go to warehouse number eight, but... Oh, number eight? It's right behind here. Do you have some business at the warehouse? Well, sort of. So it's right behind here. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, is this warehouse number eight? It's dangerous, so without authorization, I can't let you in. I see. There must be some information here.
I hear voices. Is someone there? When you look at this invoice, the address is wrong. So it is. I've asked them a million times to get it right. Yeah, it says right here, Old Warehouse District. What are they thinking? Can you call over to the old warehouse number eight? Okay, got it. So there's another warehouse number eight. I'll need to find the old warehouse district. Hisakusa. Will. I need to get to the old warehouse district, but... The old warehouse district? It's just up the street. Great. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Do you have business here? I need to ask you something. Do you know the old warehouse district? The old warehouse district is in back of here. What about it? How do I get inside? It's closed to the general public. Only authorized personnel can get in. I have business with someone inside. Unless you have an appointment, I'm afraid I can't let you in. I see. Excuse me. What do you want? Do you know anything about the old warehouse district? That heavily guarded place, right? Yeah, that's right. I've been there once, you know. There were guards everywhere inside, and they were all tense for some reason. Is that so? Thanks. Um, do you have a minute? Do you know a way to get into the old warehouse district? You might be able to sneak in at night. Thank you. Caught anything? <sighs> I've done better. But it don't matter if I catch anything or not. Casting and waiting is so relaxing. I keep telling you, stay out of here. How'd that bum get in here anyway? No idea. Are you all right? Yeah. Young man. Sure's a cold day, eh? Don't suppose you'd buy an old man a can of coffee, eh? I guess I'll take this over to him. Here. Oh. Oh. That's so warm. <laughs> Much obliged, young man. Mister, where do you live? In this here harbor. Long about three years, I reckon. Really? Well, take care of yourself. Big sis! Hi, Mai. What is it? Lend me some money. No way. Why not? Come on, lend me some. I said no. I know you'd only waste it. Prude! See if I ask you any more! My? <sighs> Hisaka-san. Hi, Dil. What's wrong? 
compromise hanging with a bad crowd and treating our family bad. She wasn't like that before. Really? No, could you talk to her? She won't listen to me at all. Me? Yes, considering you've known her since she was young. Please, talk to her. I'll try. Really? It'd help me out. Okay. She's somewhere in the harbor, behind the warehouses. I'll go check. Mai. What are you doing? Mai, your sister's worried about you. Let's go home. Who the hell is this? Screw off, asshole! Kiss off! Not so bright, are you? Bastard! I'm gonna kick your ass! Let me go! You shouldn't play with stuff like this. What are you doing? I'm not going to preach to you, Mai. But you shouldn't treat your sister that way. Not family. Yo. How did it go, Dio? Not sure, but it's her decision. By the way, Hisaka-san. What is it? Do you know the old warehouse district? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a bit far. It's just up the street. I have to go make a delivery there now. Really? Yes, to the security office there. The security office? Hisaka-san? I could make the delivery for you. Oh, really? That'd be a great help. They've already paid. All right. But... What? There are only 10 security guards, but they always order 12 meals. I wonder why. Two extra meals? Well, here it is, Ryo. Excuse me. Hoko Hoko lunches? Huh, you! I have a delivery. Twelve lunches? Huh, yeah. Just put them there. Okay. You're on duty in the new warehouse district from 8 p.m. too? Yeah. Man, guess we'll be short-handed here again. As if the night shift isn't busy enough. Hey, you're still here? If you're done, go on, get out. Yes. Between 8 and 9 p.m., that's my chance. Isaka-san, I'm done. Have any trouble finding it? Not really. You've been a big help. Thank you, y'all. Anytime. Uh, hello. Oh. That was close. Okay, now's my chance. Huh? There's some writing. Warehouse number six. No, not here. Security guards. I can't let them catch me. Yes, this is warehouse number eight. Ah! Uh. 
Who's there? Wait, Guizang. What? Master Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes, Ryo Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yonda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? It was stolen? Yes, the man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di? Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yo Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Zhu Yuanda regarding this boy's father. But, but... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh? I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Yes, when I do, I'll return. From now on, telephone beforehand. And remember the password. Um, Inesan? Yes, what is it? Well, about that day, have you remembered anything? No, and I do not want to think about it. I get chills thinking about it even now. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara-san was looking for you. Huh? Fukuhara-san is? Where's the Phoenix Mirror? Fuxan. Huh? Um, Ryosan, I... What is it, Fuxan? I'm sorry. I told Ine-san. What did you tell her? I told her what you're doing. I told her everything I know. You what? I just couldn't help myself. And Ine-san needed to know. Fuxan. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Fuxan, do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? 
My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. Really? Inesa might know something about it, though. Okay, let's go ask her. Ah, Inesa. Fukusan talks very loud, doesn't he? Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. We were talking? Yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then, who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but... I feel like I'm letting your father down. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Dear son, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when... Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop. Excuse me. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madam Butterfly, don't you? You, your Hazuki senseis. Oh my, that was a terrible thing, your father. I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh, yes, it was very important, so I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. Oh. No way! You're working with Landy? If I was... Why, you...
If I continue, then I'll fail as your bodyguard. A bodyguard? Father told me to guard you. What? Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You still don't realize your role, do you? If Lan Di gets that mirror, no one can stop him. Hurry and find that mirror before they suspect anything. Landisama, the Phoenix Mirror? <laughs> Buxa. Yes? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design? It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? The snow ring, the two stars, and a sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks. That shape, why is that here? What is this for, that shape? Okay. Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... Why is that here? What's this slot for? Okay. Wow, so it was a switch. I wonder where this leads. Z 
zodiac signs? These are also Chinese. What's this leaf doing here? That's strange. It's not even dry. Hmm, what's that? Hey, it looks like a talisman. What could that talisman mean? It's father when he was young, but who's that with him? These scratches must be from the shells. slightly different. Can I break the wall with his axe? Suzuki family crest. This box. Got it. It's the Phoenix Mirror. You found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix mirror? It's kind of creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. Ryo, Ryo san, stop it, please! You think it could be cursed? No, I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous! Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious! Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Nine dragons. Mother's Earth. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah, I found the mirror. I'll tell my father. Come to warehouse number eight. Sure. Uh, I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Ah, the Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River Stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuanda once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu 
will resurrect itself on Earth. Ji Yu. It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know. But you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? <laughs> What the? Hey! Two mirrors! Landy Sama will be pleased. <sighs> Gui Cheng. Oh, Hazuki, push that button. Oh, oh no! Ah! Yeah! I won't forget this. Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yu Men. The Chi Yu Men? Yes, the Chi Yu Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then, and then he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it! I must avenge my father's murder. Huh? <laughs> How admirable! But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you, suppose your father was murdered, what would you do? Please help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Gui Chang. Master Chen, please wait. You should not waste your life on revenge. The Chi Yo Men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Guess Hong Kong's out. Puxa, you know of any cheap travel agencies? Yeah, there's one in Dabuita, but 
The Wita. Hmm. Why you wanna know? I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong. Huh? Hong Kong? Yeah. It appears that Lan Di went there. But what? What will you tell Inesan? I'll persuade her. Not alone, you won't. I'll help you. Inesan, do you have a minute? Yes. What is it? I know it's sudden, but I'm thinking of going on a trip. A trip? Yes. <laughs> Good. You could use a vacation. Oh, yeah. Where are you thinking of going? Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Fuxa. It seems the man who killed Hazuki Sensei is there. Inesan, please give him the money for the trip. Idiot. What are you planning to do, Ryo-san? Oh, nothing. Nothing? This is crazy. I can't let you do this. Well, he has to get there somehow, Inesan. I'm not listening. Inesan. End of discussion. Uh, uh, huh? Thanks a lot. What? What did I do? You didn't have to tell her everything. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this by myself. Ah, please come in. Hello. A vacation? Yes, to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Well then, have a seat. Are you a student? Yes. With a student discount about 220,000 yen. Wow. Is there a cheaper one? A one-way fare? I'm afraid we don't sell one-way tickets. The ticket alone's about 198,000. Really? I'll come back. Here, why don't you take this pamphlet with you? Think about it, and if you're interested, come back. Okay, thanks. Please come again. The Hong Kong Fair. Pretty expensive, eh? Just a moment. Ryo-san. What's that? This here is my savings. I want you to have it. book -san. Well, I... I really want to help you out. It's not much, but... Don't hesitate. Smash it open. Are you sure? Yeah. There should be a lot, but... Hmm, well, one, two, three... Uh, 39,634 yen. Ah, oh, that's still not enough. Yeah, right. Ah, I got an idea. Ida Florist. Ida Florist? Nozomi's place? Yeah, she travels overseas a lot. Maybe she'll have a better idea. Good idea. I'll go ask her. Okay. Hey, Dio. Hey, Megumi. Dio, Mimi's disappeared. Has she... She was already gone when I came. Will she come back? Okay. I'll go find her, and you wait here, Megumi. Thanks so much, Dio. Hmm? I can hear her mewing. It must be from down there. Well, there you are. Oh, there. 
Nozomi. Ryo, wait. Were you looking for her too? Yeah. She's here, Megumi. Oh, really? Mimi, Mimi, where have you been? I was worried. Great, huh? Yep. Thanks a lot, Nozomi. No, not me. Ryo found her. Thanks a lot, Ryo. No problem. Well, I gotta go meet my friend. See ya. Yeah. Want some food? I think she likes this food. It must taste good. I'll bring more again soon. Great! Thank you, Ryo. Hey. Hello. I'm looking for a cheap way to travel overseas. Any ideas? What? Don't you have any money? Oh, uh, not much. In that case, why don't you try to go by boat? When I first came here as an apprentice, I came by boat. Traveling by boat is pretty nice. The ocean's beautiful. By boat? I'll think about it. Thanks. You're welcome. Ah, please come in. I have a question. Sure, what is it? How much would a boat fare beat Hong Kong? I am sorry, but we don't sell any boat tickets here. Do you know of a travel agency that does? It's urgent. I must get to Hong Kong. I know, but... Please, if you know, tell me. Well, okay. Go out of here and make a right. You'll find Asia Travel Company. But from what I've heard, it's not very good. Okay, take a right, Asia Travel Company. I'll try it. Thank you very much. Be right there. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. What is it? Do you sell boat tickets to Hong Kong here? Boat tickets? Yeah, we do. How much are they? Boat, boat... Uh, here it is. I'll take it. The sooner the better. You gotta pay up before I can arrange it. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'll take care of it. The ticket. Come back in three or four hours. All right. I'll be back in three or four hours then. Excuse me. Oh, Hazuki Sensei's boy. I could really use your expertise again. Of course, provided it's something I am familiar with. Is it about the sword handguard from the other day? No, it's about this. Hmm, may I take a look? What a marvelous stone phoenix mirror. Stone mirrors were produced in China during ancient times. This is an exceptional piece. Is there anything unusual about this one? Indeed there is. I think perhaps this type of precious stone is only found in the Guilin region. Precious stone? According to a book I once read long ago, an emperor ordered a sculptor from Guilin to engrave a guardian onto a stone mirror. Guardian? 
The phoenix on this mirror is a guardian. Is there any connection between the phoenix and the stone from Guilin? Well, I really can't speculate, but considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there is a connection. I see. Well then, thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Hello. Oh, Hazuki-san. Thanks for your help the other day. But, can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Help you? Yeah, Ryo Hazuki, I'm here for my ticket. Huh? What are you talking about? My Hong Kong ticket I've already paid. Paid who? The woman who... Woman? Don't know no woman. What? What kind of scam is this? We don't take kindly to accusations like that. You best learn some manners. Hey you, you'd better watch your mouth. I've had enough of this. I've already paid my money. Ah, uh, I understand. Allow me to sort this out. You'd better, or else. Yes, sir. I'll call you first thing tomorrow. <sighs> hey, Ryo-san. Fuk-san. Nozomi-san brought some flowers by today. Nozomi brought flowers? Yeah. Did you order them? No. Where are they? In the altar room. I see. Nozomi-san was nice enough to bring those flowers. Nozomi brought these? She even remembered what your father's favorite flowers were. Really? She's such a nice girl.
Hello? How's it going, Joe? Huh? Asia Travel Company? Okay, just a moment. Huh? Hello? It's Jimmy from Asia Travel. I've got your ticket. I'd like for you to come and pick it up. Please come to the U Arcade on Dobuita at noon. Yosa, what was that phone call about? The ticket to Hong Kong. Oh, I see. I'm going out. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh, Ryo. Is this a good time? What's on your mind? I want to show you something. What is it? Uh, this. What an unusual stone mirror. Apparently, it is called the Phoenix Mirror. I see. There is a phoenix carved into it. Is there anything special about this mirror? Hmm. Well, the phoenix is a sacred bird of legend. But uh, this has an ominous feel. Ominous? In China, there are many treasures that contain both good and bad fortune. This is called the secret of yin and yang. The secret of yin and yang? You'd best be careful. This may have something to do with your father's unfortunate death. I don't know if this information helps, but that's all I can tell you. I see. Thank you very much. Landy. Me? Work? For Landy-sama? <laughs> That's my dream! What do you want with me? You know about Julianda. Tell me all you know! Landy-sama hates Julianda, so I'll be rewarded for this information. <laughs> so you know about Landy. Just who the hell is he? Tell you if you prove stronger than me. Ah! 
Wilson! Interrupted! I'll save the fun for later! Just take it easy and rest today. Uh. Nozomi. What's wrong, Ryo? Did you see a creepy looking guy? You're talking about that skinhead? Ryo, did he do something to you? Which way did he go? He went into the Asia Travel Company. Thanks. I gotta go. Who the hell is it? Hey. Shit. What's your problem? Damn! Stop! Oh. What? the ticket I paid for. Here, take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. <laughs> Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? <laughs> Where are they? I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me. The, the harbor. Who's their boss? I, I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you weren't there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you know any places around here that are hiring? Son, do I look gainfully employed to you? Huh? What I'm saying is you're asking the wrong person. You ought to ask over at the office or question one of them workers. Come and see me if you're interested in becoming homeless. I see. Thank you. Excuse me. What is it? Would it be possible for me to get a job here? Sorry, but we aren't looking for help now. Is that so? Do you know of any place in the harbor that is currently hiring? Hmm. I'm afraid not. Is that so? Um, excuse me. What do you want? I'm looking for a job at the harbor. A job? Sorry, but we are not accepting applications for workers now. I see. Yo, dude! Oh, 
know you. Seem a bit blue, my man? Got a problem? Then I'm your man! Yeah, right. I know everything about this tier harbor! Whatever it is, just ask! I want a job here. What should I do? So wanna be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man! Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold up! I'll be man! I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo! Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Mm, well... Mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow, in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. Twelve noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya. Yo, bro! I've got you a job, man! Really? Thanks. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro! What'd you say? That'd be the job I found! Shut your lip, woman! Hello, Mai. Hi, Eryo. Hey! You two know each other! Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, Oh, pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? Ow! So, where should I go? Be at the Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Just ask for Yara-san. You have an appointment. 2 p.m. Yara-san, Alpha Trading Office. Thanks a lot. See ya! Excuse me. What do you want? Are you Yara-san? Yeah, that's me. My san at the lunch stand mentioned me? Oh, yes. My from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Yes. You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Uh, well... Break something, it'll be deducted. Yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. I see. Mark! Show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey, man. I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift? It's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard? Good work. Thank you. You're getting used to the forklift. I suppose so. About your wage. You start at 300 yen per crate. There's a quota every day, so don't go slacking off. Yes, sir. If you do good enough and meet quota, I'll give you a raise. I understand. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Yo. Mark. I need you to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., okay? Yeah, sure. There's something we gotta do before work. Before work? Really? Yeah, man. You'll see when you get here. Oh, and don't be late. Okay.
I told you to stay out of here, old man. <laughs> I'm gonna run you over. Uh, help, somebody! Cut it out. Who the hell are you? Quit terrorizing him. Look at him. Talks like a goody-goody little shit. All right, then. We'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. You give the signal. Start when this can hits the ground. Here we go. Take that. It's not fair. I'm just playing with you. Hey, you. I won. Damn. We won't forget this boy. Good morning, everyone. Morning. morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah. yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Ready, go! Finish! Oh man, so close, you almost had it. Here's your prize. Thanks. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? My lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Oh, remember this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the Mad Angels. Why are the Mad Angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Yo, bro! Hats off to the hard-working man! Oh. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! 
from the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak. This here harbor, Goro knows it all. So you know about the Mad Angels? Oh, uh, I... Speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh, man! Must have had me a bad ache this morning. Gotta hit the can, my man. Oh, hope I can make it in time. Oh. So you know about them. Bro, that name. Please don't say it so loud. Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man. It's taboo around here. There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking. No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, will it be? You are mine or not? Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. That's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You have yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. Yeah, please. I'll watch, so give it a try. I think that's enough. Still want to continue? No, that's enough. Keep in mind, you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. <laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. 
suppose I show ya rather than tell ya. Let's see ya try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch. You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Okay then, here we go. Why am I missing? <laughs> this was a real fight. I just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow Step? So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yes, please teach me. First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. Alright. Hmm, that ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now your turn. Hmm, right nice. You're a quick study. Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Okay, sure, why not? Well, I'ma watch ya. Go on and show me. Alright. Hmm, that enough for ya? Wanna keep going? No, I think I'm alright. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes uh, a clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> Ever need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Be sure and practice daily. <laughs> hey, look! It's schoolboy! 
you guys. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ha! Move it. You hurt us, you're fired. Ha! Ha! Nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever. Hey, cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! Help me! Where are the mad angels? Those guys are at the back of warehouse number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> <coughs> Again? This time you're dead. Forget this! Mark, you okay? Oh... Yeah, I'm alright. No problem. Oh... Careful! So, looking for your brother? Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Killed by the mad angels. Why would the mad angels kill your brother? 
It appears he may have leaked some important information. Is that why they... Probably. At least as far as I can tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? Was the guy who heard the information killed? Or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dio. I heard the information was about a black market deal. With some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The Chiyu men. Hey, mister. Oh, it's you, youngin. You been training? Yeah. That's great. Now then, I can show you how to use it. Use it? The shadow step move? It's rather hard to do, so I'll only do it once, so pay attention. Before, I just showed you how to slide behind your opponent. Once you're behind your opponent, strike the back of the neck. An unprotected neck's weaker than you'd expect. An accurate strike can paralyze. Strike just after sliding past your opponent. If you practice, you'll get it. I understand. Thank you. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. Which do you want? Yo? This one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. What? I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Bye then, Ryo. Nozomi. Sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this stray off now. I'm gonna get him.
love. You ain't so bad, punk. Why, you? But your time's up. You wish. No one takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Get him. You little brat, I'm gonna break your face. Come on! How are the Mad Angels and Chi Yu Ming connected? Uh, I, I don't know. What? W wait! I don't know if he's Chi Yu Ming, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me! Whoa, gotta get going. Goro, what happened? I was just walking with that sailor guy. He. Hey, schoolboy, come on! <laughs> you! Uro! Hey, over here! <laughs> Wait! He's coming? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I took the bait! So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Better be you. Hey, boy! Ah. Oh no! Hey, no escape, boy! You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend? What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. Oh. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Jia. That is soon. Long Jia? Best I could figure, it's some mad angel's black market deal. 
Makes sense. They've been on edge lately. Long Jia. When's it supposed to happen? Hey, mister. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. Yes. I know you want revenge, but... If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on, oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When used up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna settle down and go straight. Gets me a real job, work hard and marry her. Marry? But she's too young. Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. But to Goro? Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro... <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. See ya. It's them. Got a question. You know about the long jaw? What? What did you say? You know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, wait. Get rid of him! Idiot! You Sorry. crazy! Hey, Pedro! You need help? the long jaw I I don't know I'll break your arm but I don't know I swear only the boss of the mad angels knows who is the boss it's T Terry Terry please don't tell anyone that I told you or they'll send me to the bottom of the sea oh where is he I don't know it's the truth Terry's real careful <laughs> Got your pay. Here. Thank you. No, oh, wait. Yes? Someone came to see you earlier. Really? Yes, a young man in a suit. He asked me to give this to you. Thanks. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The mad angels are after you. Beware. Guizan. Ah, the long jaw. Maybe Master Chin knows about it. Hazuki. Master Chin, is Landy coming for the Long Jaw? Why do you know about Long Jaw? I got it out of the Mad Angels. So, is Landy coming? Landy has nothing to do with the Long Jaw. Only the lowest Chiyo men members are involved. But Terry and his gang have arranged transport for Landy to a ship. He's acting as a guide for Landi, so as to ingratiate himself with the Chi Yo men. Terry and his gang already know about you. And that you're trying to stop the Long Jaw. The items we deal in are expensive. Paintings, calligraphy, antiques, gems. Terry's gang deals in contraband. The next big shipment is drugs. If they get established, our market will be destroyed. If our trade route is disturbed, it will cause trouble for us in China. So, now you see. Go home before you get hurt. I can't do that. Someone as young as you should not be involved. Tell me when the long jaw is. I cannot tell you, but if you can be patient and listen to my counsel, no harm will come to you. Father! As written in the letter to his father, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuanda. I will hear no more of this today. Very well. I'll back off for now. Your father would not have wanted you to throw your life away so senselessly. I should go out and get some fresh air. Were you just with Nozomi-san? No. Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san. Hello? It's Ryo. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Here, yeah, meet us behind warehouse number 17. No, Ryo! It's a trap! Nozomi! If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her! I'll give you four hours, or else! Behind warehouse number 17! <laughs> Inesan, I gotta go. Do son. Well, if it isn't Rio. Akemi-san, I need to get to the harbor right away. Do you have any ideas? Hold your horses. There's no need to panic. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well. The buses aren't running at this time of night. Do you have a license? I have a motorcycle license. Well, there you go. Now, all you need is a motorcycle. Oh yeah, a motorcycle! Yes, who is it? It's real. Ah, Ryo chan just a moment. Hey, Ryo. What's up? I need a favor. 
Oh, sure. Come on in. Can't. I'm in a hurry. Can I use your motorcycle? My motorcycle? Sure. Cash. Thanks. Don't drive too fast. I won't. Later. Looks like we got a rat, eh? What? The king of the harbor don't like rats. Like a sewer rat, always sniffing around. Think we just let you pass? Nozomi. What's your hurry? Have some fun with us. I got you now. Enough. 
Oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey. You play with him. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Oh, no, Ryo! Nozomi. Are you alright? Yes, I'm sorry, I... It's okay. It's all my fault. Yeah. It's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the tough little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. You're the one trying to get information about the long jaw. You're either real brave, or you're real stupid. I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can. But... It's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Jin's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Chen's around, we won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. Is it a deal? All right. Ryo, don't! But one more condition. Oh yeah? It ain't enough to get the girl back. You take me to Land D. <laughs> this kid's got a death wish. He's got some screws loose. <laughs> what do you say? I know you're the one that guided Land D. Well... There's more to school, boy, than Mr. to I. You take me to Land D, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget! Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakuska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. Thanks for saving me. Mm. But I won't let this go.
Tom, hey, Ryo, working hard at the harbor today, eh? Yeah. What's wrong? You seem kind of blue. No, I'm all right. Okay. Tell you what. You come on by later and let me treat you to lunch, okay? Young man, have a seat. Sure. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to resign. Am I fired? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Why? Uh, you see, there's been a mess of trouble since you started. Now, I know it ain't all your fault, but... Well, and when trouble starts affecting my company, that's a problem. You know what I mean? Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Mm. Hisakasa. What is it? Are you busy? Yes, a little. Oh, yo. By the way... What? Have you spoken to Tom lately? To Tom? No, I haven't. Really? Well then, I guess it's okay. I'll be on my way. Wait, Ryo. You're not gonna let me finish? What's happened with Tom? Well, recently he just seems really depressed. I'm a bit worried that something's happened to him. But I guess he's okay, if he hasn't said anything to you. Yeah. Sorry for bringing it up. It's okay. So, how is business? Today's been about average, I'd suppose. I see. See you later. Bye. Mark. Yo. I heard. You got fired. It's no big deal. Don't worry, man. I know it ain't your fault. Thanks, Mark. Well, you know where to find me. So drop by once in a while, will you? I will. And Mark, I do hope you find your brother soon. Thanks. I just know he's out there. Somewhere. Alive. At least that's what I believe. Yeah. What's the matter, Dio? Huh? You look even more serious than usual today. I do, huh? Yeah. Is something wrong? I'm going to. Yeah? What? Uh, never mind. Hey, man. If you need any advice, you know you can talk to me. I'm all right, Mark. No problem. You sure? Yeah. Hey, Rio! Tom. It's cold. I'll get you some coffee, okay? I don't feel like coffee today. Hey, Rio, look! Tom, what was that leg move? A friend taught me this. It's a tornado kick. You want me to teach you. Yeah, teach me. Okay. 
It's your lucky day! First, the music! First, I'll teach you the steps. You watch carefully, okay? Step forward, step again, then kick, okay? Very simple, okay? First, try the steps. You take two steps toward me. Okay? Unbelievable, man! Who'd think someone could master that kick so quickly? But that's just like you, Ryo. Thanks, Tom. No, no, no! This is how it's done, okay? Hmm? Two steps forward then! First and kick. second kick! This is the real tornado kick! Now Ryo, you try it, okay? You got the rhythm now! Thanks, Tom. That tornado kick is very powerful, okay? This kick is perfect for when you're surrounded by multiple opponents. Do you want to practice longer? No, that's okay. Okay! You mastered the leg move great. You're a good teacher, Tom. Thanks. What's wrong? I got something I need to tell you, Ryo. Tell me what? Tomorrow, I go back to America. What? All of a sudden? Not suddenly. I've been planning to for a while. Tom. Ryo, why are you going on your trip? Uh, I... I bet it has something to do with your father. Yeah, I thought so. Me? I'm going back to my home, and you'll be leaving soon too. Nobody can stop you. Tom. Even though we part ways, you'll still be one of my best friends. You're mine too. Today's the last day for Tom's hot dogs. Get them while you can. Yeah, I'll have one. My friend, Tom. I'm here. You sure got guts coming here. This way, follow me. Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here, on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. I'm out of here. 
Hazuki, why are you here? Guizar, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Guizar, pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land D. You dressed a punk like Terry? You'd be better off losing. Lose to you? Go down before you get hurt. What? By a kick like that? Huh, you call that a kick? Huh. So you're serious? You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! <sighs> All right, Hazuki. Well, come on! You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor are you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Just as I suspected. Hey, can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. You're on. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! <sighs> Is Trouble your middle name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. Okay, who's first? You're pretty good! Stay focused! Yeah. <laughs> 
You're still green, eh? <laughs> All power, no focus! All tuckered out, are we? Watch yourself! Take them all on? That's it! Suzuki style? Potential! This one is mine. 
This who the hell you think you're dealing with? Yeah. I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. You're left. Yeah. Now, where is Lanty? Never give up to you. Tell me! That creepy skinhead, he took him out to the ship. What? Too bad, huh? You wanted that bad. You better start swimming. Damn. <laughs> After all that, still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. No. That's my line. Yo, son! Hmm? Here, it's for you. From Ine's son, and it's not much, but from me. Oh. Folks, son. Take care, and come back in one piece.
Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. Thanks to you, the long jaw was thwarted. It was the least I could do. Thank you very much. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. The diving swallow style should be useful on your journey. What? A style from the Hebei province in use since the Song Dynasty. I will teach you its most sacred move, the swallow flip. Guishang. Yes. You utilize your opponent's attack to flip them. First, I will explain the basic form. Watch closely. You take one step backwards to parry the opponent's attack. Then focus power in your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Immediately kick their legs out and flip. In actual combat, you'd strike here. The throw alone won't incapacitate your opponent. First, try to execute the proper form. Shift your weight while taking one step back. So, you've acquired the form. Next, as you drop, use your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Well then, give it a try. Yes, that is correct. Kick your opponent's legs out and flip. Well then, give it a try. Yes, that's the proper form. But to truly master the swallow flip, you must be able to... anticipate your opponent's attack. Guizhang, spar! What? Practice is required to master the attack quickly. You must attack him in earnest. I will. Begin. <sighs> Excellent. Well executed. You have more ability than I thought. No, sir. You're a superior instructor. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? No, thank you. I think I can manage now. Very well. Then there is nothing more that I can do. I am in your debt. You're going? Yes. Look out! Kusan! Behind you! You're not going to Hong Kong because the Great Chai will defeat you! <laughs>
What are you doing here? Where's Landy? Uh, the Landy Sama is sailing the sea on a ship bound for Hong Kong. So, Landy's already left for Hong Kong. about my son. At the moment, I don't know where Zhu Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in there. Thank you very much.
Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Nozomi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada. I... Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. Well, I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. He comes from a far eastern land, across the ocean. A young man who has yet to realize his own potential. This potential is a power that can both destroy him, as well as ensure his will is realized. Perhaps he will achieve the balance that will mark him a man of courage. The path he must traverse is fraught with adversity and filled with expectations. I await whilst praying for the realization of this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with morning star as its only light. And thus, the saga begins.
shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. <laughs> 